today you, you very casually switched over and said, I'm a patient myself. Yes. Being a doctor for all your life. Yes. And now you're battling yes. yeah. cancer. Yes. How do you look at the switchover? It, was, it wasn't that difficult. I, I mean, my son had a brain tumor when he was very young, before I became a neurosurgeon. So I had some personal experience. Um, there's been quite a lot of disease in the family. So I, and I worked as an as a operating theater porter once and as a nursing assistant once before becoming a doctor. So I had some idea of what it was like to be at the bottom, the bottom of the hierarchy mm -hmm. as a patient. So becoming a patient myself didn't hold any great surprises for me. I knew that being a patient is essentially a humiliating, demeaning, frightening, disempowering experience, which many doctors don't understand, particularly young doctors, until they become patients themselves after many years. But what it did remind me of is something I already knew, but it brought home to me just how there is such a vast gulf between doctors and patients. Um, it's a very, very unequal relationship. And that is necessary to some extent. As a doctor, you can become too emotionally involved with your patients and you, you need to care for them. You need to be emotionally involved with your patients, but not too much or the work becomes impossible. Mm -hmm. So you have to wear sort of blinkers a lot of the time. And particularly in neurosurgery, you see so many terrible human tragedies. Um, it, it, the main challenge, I think, is not becoming too detached, too insensitive. Mm -hmm. um, and that's very difficult. The Bravo Delta Show, brought to you by Maruti Cement and Seiko.